welcome back let's do question 113 solve for x or this is an inequality quadratic inequality so we need to write our inequality in standard form it has to be in this form ax squared plus bx plus c greater than zero so we can transpose x to the left hand side or subtract x from both sides of the equation so what we get, we get x squared minus x minus 90 greater than 0. Now we can get our critical values. Not the solution, just the critical values. We can do that by factorization. So the factors of 90, negative 90, that can give us negative 1. This negative 90 is given as a clue that one factor is negative and the other factor is positive and then this one is given us a clue that the bigger factor is one which is negative so, and you can even start by listing the factors let's say 90 check 90 we have 1 and 90 we have 2 and 45 you're checking the ones that are going to give you um, a 1 and then 3 and 30 and then 5 and 18 and then till you get to 9 and 10 you can see that 9 and 10 somehow you can get a 1 from those two so if we have negative 10 and positive 9 so these are the factors we're looking for so it's x plus 9 x minus 10 greater than 0 right and then these are just the critical values let me emphasize that because a lot of people will solve and leave their answers as if they were solving equations while it's solving an inequality right so we have x plus 9 is equal to 0 or x minus 10 is equal to 0 these are the critical values x is equal to negative 9 or x is equal to 10 and the function is greater than 0 so it means it is above the it is above the x-axis this is a quadratic function and then these are the critical values we have negative 9 and positive 10 where is the function above the x-axis this is y is equal to 0 the x-axis is y is equal to 0 so where is the graph above the x-axis which is here this part and this part this yellow part is above the x-axis when x is less than less than negative 9 and then when x is greater than x is greater than 10 okay we're seeing from here going to the right and then from here going to the left that's the solution so we're saying x is less than negative 9 or x is greater than 10 or you can write it like this using the interval notation x element of negative infinity to negative 9 not included so we're using the round brackets or from 10 not included to infinity